Hey YouTube! How you doing? What's up you guys? So, today's a nice little sunny day outside. It's about, I don't know, it says it's like 89, but it feels like 97, which apparently it's really cool. And lately I've been feeling it's cool because I've been here last summer and it's not hot and I really want to go to the beach or I just want to lay out. So, okay, here's the thing, here's the thing. Today's the big news. Here's the big thing. Here's the big thing. I want to be famous. Okay. I don't know if it's just me or maybe it's you guys too, but didn't you guys ever have that dream when you were younger that you wanted to be famous? And for me, as a child, I knew that I wanted to be famous when I saw Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen and I said that I would be their boyfriend and that my brother would be their other boyfriend and then we'd be two twins going out together and then we'd be famous because everyone would see us together and then they wouldn't know, oh, who are those twins? And then we'd hang out with Tia and Tamara Mari and have just a whole twin set. Honestly, these things ran through my mind. As a twin, it was, it, was, it was pretty cool. But now I realize that if I were to be with Ashley Olsen, it would be as her gay best friend slash her support system telling her to eat a Twinkie. So yeah, I want to be famous. Is that a problem? I don't think so. Whatever. It kind of all kicked in last night, though, about me wanting to be famous and everything like that when I was watching the season premiere of The Real World New Orleans, which is pretty funny. And I don't want to ruin for you because, you know, wait, what am I saying? I don't give a fuck. It's this really, really funny part because it's this, like, black gay guy. And he's, like, really funny and whatever. And then there's this other cute little white guy. And you thought he was gay, then he's not. He's straight. And apparently, not only is he straight, but he's a little bit homophobic. They went to this gay club, and then he went to, like, hit on these... No, he wasn't really hitting on the guys. The guys were hitting on him. And they bought him a drink and everything like that. And then he got mad because one kissed him on the neck. And then he was like, oh, when gay people touch me, I want to kill myself. Whoa. Whoa. If there's one thing I don't stand for... Homophobia. By the end of the episode, you know how the MTV goes. They like to spin little things. So one really doesn't know how serious that event was. But for the five minutes that I was watching it, and it was crazy. Hey, it got it got good ratings, I'm sure. But um, yeah, they seem to be friends now. Who knows? I I kind of want to be in the real world. I mean, I always did want it before. But every time I watch this, it's only when I watch the season premiere that I really want to be on it because it would just be awesome. It's just me with seven strangers, pick to live in a house, have my life's tape, work together, and then see what happens when people stop being polite and start getting real. Except nowadays, can't do that. It's just a huge career killer. I mean, people go out there, search your name, they see you on TV, you getting drunk, cooking up, you getting slutty, and hey, how are you gonna get a job? Other than that, I saw Eclipse last night. It was really good. The only complaint I had was this really about Kristen Stewart's horrible acting. I don't like that bitch. I really don't. You know what? Every single day now, I feel like when I go outside of this house in Florida, there are just things in the state that make me want to hate the state even more. Such as little fucking teenagers that think they're slick. And here's the thing, YouTube. I don't like teenagers. I really don't. And, you know, I have some good reasons why I don't. Number one, they think they're grown. Number two, they think they're grown. Number three, not only do they think they're grown, but they think they can be grown and then just say anything they want and as if no one's going to say something to them because they're so small and like, oh, I'm going to be afraid because I don't want to hurt you. And shut the fuck up. I don't like you, so you need to stop talking. And I'm talking to this little bitch last night who when I was leaving the theater, I was walking down the aisle after I let several people go through. And this bitch wanted to say behind me after I walked into the aisle, well, sure, you can go with a smart-ass little attitude. And I just wasn't for it, so I turned around and I was like, thanks. And I could have said thanks, bitch, but I decided not to because uh, there are children around. These Florida people, mm -mm, they think they're going to be whoever they want. Go outside that movie theater, they're all running around. <laughs> I'm so cool because I'm 15 and I can be in a movie theater by myself. <gasps> no. Just calm the fuck down. Go to a movie theater like any other person leave it and don't just congregate outside being cool and getting the girls to scream because they see a guy that they like and oh my god it's horrible i hate it that's my little spiel oh before i go i did say that i would do a little shout out to my sister's best friend she made a little youtube video and i'm making sure you guys see it because it's really funny it's about the things she hates and it's from a different point of view which is funny um and my sister's friends all love my videos, and they all tell me about it. So I would say that, hey, Danielle, and here's her video link there. Okay, see you guys.
Thank <laughs> you.